How'd you find out about it? What did you think about it? Or anything? Uh, Twitter. <laughs> Could you believe it? What's your thoughts? I had to go check it out to see what I said, but I didn't even believe it when they first told me. Well, I know you graded out at like 95%, which John Hevesy said uh, that was just a little bit behind Gabe, so that, that made you a little upset. Oh, yeah, we always in competition to see who graded high, so to find out he graded one above me, it really, I really took it to heart. Was that the highest that y'all had two guys grade out this year? Oh, yes, in one game it is. How big was that in a game like this? Uh, for, uh, Blaine um, graded 93 too, so. All three of us are great in the 90s, and all five of us are great above 85. It, it really helped out. So the, the offensive lineman grades out the highest gets more dessert? Is that right? <laughs> or is Coach Hevesy pulling our chain? Uh, it, it was a lot bigger yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> dessert, dessert, it was good. It was, instead of that much, it was it was there. It was, it was, it was, it was, What'd you have? It's called a big man, so we can't tell y'all what's Ooh. in it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, when, you, when you left in the second quarter of your limp, and you, I know you've talked about how you were fearing the worst, but when you went when you went on the sideline on the, on the bike and everything, were you start? When did you start feeling like I need to get back out there? Um, I never wanted to leave, but I start. I really started to feel it like in the middle of the third quarter, and I told Coach Davis I was ready to go, so he uh, gave me to go ahead and go at the beginning of the fourth. You know, the offense was sputtering a little bit. Was that kind of making you scratch a little bit more, wanting to get out there? A little bit, but we all season we we had that point in the game where we always sputtered a little bit. So um, in the fourth quarter, we picked it up and we, we got back on track. I think so, the very first play you got in there was a 20-yard run on the right side with Perkins. Uh, do you remember that? And what did you feel? Did you feel like you guys were going to be okay when you got back out there? Oh yeah, that was a, a very important moment in the game because I think it was third down, third and eight, and to get the first down on that on the run, it helped us out a lot in the game. I know this was the most you played since the Auburn game. And did you just feel like your old self? Was this the best you played all year? Oh yeah, this was the best I played all year. In the Auburn game, I, I did pretty good too, but this was the best. The whole unit played all year together. I saw Justin at Chipley's on Sunday. Everybody was asking him how he felt. He said, well, I was about ready for Tobias to go back in the game. <laughs> Just what were you trying to get through to him while he was going out there? Because he said it was the most nervous he's ever been in his life. It was a, it was a big game for him, the biggest game. He, the biggest game, like most of us has played in. And for him to play at a level that he did while I was out, it, it really helped us out. Going it was in, very it was fitting to see him at Shippers, too. <laughs> <laughs> Going into this. You talked about you being like having an infectious personality in the huddle and all those things. You know, do you know that? Do you, do you feel that way? And do you feel like that's part of your role? Yeah, I, with me being a senior, this is supposed to be my role. And I feel like I have an effect on all the guys and they trust me. So when I'm in there, it's, it's all the bun. Going into this week, do you, do you expect to start? Do you, do you expect to be rested a little bit more again like you had the last couple of weeks? And, this week coming up? This week coming up, yeah. I haven't really heard. As far as I know, I'm going to play and start, so we'll see.